what is up YouTube how are you doing today and welcome back to my channel now this is a second on the channel actually I did actually start this channel um, with the idea of creating a playthrough channel and playing the game all the way through but it turns out I just played it so much on the train I didn't actually finish the series I actually only done one episode so this is actually going to be uh, the series of me playing through the Isle of Armour the new DLC it came out today um, I haven't done anything yet, so I've got my ticket, but what I do know, what I do know I need to do is um, is go and actually get myself some Pokeballs and stuff, because obviously going to a new island with some new Pokemon, um, I just want to make sure that I'm stacked up on everything, because I don't know what's on the island yet, and I don't want it to be a case where I go to the island, um, and it turns out I don't actually have... <laughs> I don't actually have anywhere near enough to do anything so um, I'm just trying to make sure I'm gonna stack up on a couple of great ball actually no why do I even need great balls surely I just use ultra balls over and over right okay we'll get a couple more of them uh, we've got 123 that should be enough for now uh, so let's just go I'm guessing we go to the train station and that's where we're gonna go and start our Galar adventure so as you can see my person looks nothing like me um, it is what it is. <laughs> I can't really make him look like me because uh, they don't really have the ugly characters yet. So that's it. Uh, where do we need to go? How do we? How do we actually even? Wait a minute. How do we even get to the Isle of Armor? Um, do I have to redeem it here? From here to buy? No. I need to go get. Oh, that's an armor pass. There you go. Where would you like to go today? Armor station, let's go. God, it's really hot in here with these lights on me. I do apologize if my face looks... Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I'm actually playing this without sound as well. Um, whoa, what's going on here? So it is actually just a pure island. Uh, looks like the island I actually live on. So that's pretty cool. Now, I am actually gonna limit these uh, episodes to 30 minutes each, so they are gonna be pretty long. Um, but if they're shorter than that, then it doesn't really, you know, you don't really get much content. And if they're longer than that, I don't know if I want them to be longer than that because I want to make it last. Is this your first visit to the Isle of Armour? Yes, it is. I'm researching Pokemon biology here on the island. You want to register the Pokemon you capture in this island on your Pokedex, right? I'll update your Pokedex so you can do just that. Let's go. Update the Pokedex, people. Um, as you can tell as well, on the overlay I've got here, you can actually see the two Pokemon I've brought with me. I've actually brought my Togekiss and uh, the Charizard. Now, the Charizard's only level like 40, I believe, or something like that. Let's, I was gonna say let's have a quick check, but it turns out we run into uh, this geezer. I'm supposed to join, join the dojo on this island today, but there's a strange person standing outside the station and I'm a bit scared to head out. Oof. Looks like I'm going to have to be the person to do it then, doesn't it? Hello? Who is this? Aha! There you are. Right on time too. You're pretty punctual for a kid. What do you mean? I'm not a kid. I'm a Galar champion. Hey, we have met some before. Doesn't really matter. Call outfit, call outfit. Clara. I mean that the dojo was. They sent me help to help out the newbie. Uh, what dojo? Oh, come on. I know you're a new student. Who's supposed to join the Masters Dojo? Am I? Well, who knows, eh? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But let's just uh, let's just go to the dojo and see what's there. Clara, pretty cool looking character, actually. I'm gonna put it out there now. Clara, you will be the card I look for when you're in a um, in the collection in the full art set. So when you come to the TCG, um, I will be searching for your card most definitely because if it looks as cool as you look in game. I want that card. Hell yeah. Whoa. <laughs> There's the slow bro, bros. Look at them, bruh. This looks like a huge area. Hee <laughs> hee. I bet this is your first time on the Isle of Armour. I bet you can't wait to start exploring. But first, things first, we need to make sure you're ready. Since I've already been at the Masters Dojo for a little while now, I'll be the one testing you out. Okay, okay. Just calm it down. I've only just got to the island. I'm a little bit jet lagged, should we say? Should we? <laughs> Venipede, nice. Ooh. What level are these Pokemon? So, as you can tell, my Togekiss is called Snips um, because you actually get the Togekiss from the trade in this. 
and I never I never was able to change the name, so I just kept it as Snips all the time. Um, we're just going to hit it with an air slash, should one shot it, nice. Togekiss is really strong in this game, I've basically used this Pokemon the whole way through. Oh my Charizard's not even level 40 yet, it's level 36, so it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Slowpoke, no thanks. So Slowpoke's actually psychic now, isn't it? Um, so it's not really too bad for a Charizard. I was going to switch out the Charizard, but it's only level 30. Um, what I say it was? Level 36. So just get demolished by this. So I might as well just keep uh, keep this going and just get on out, get on out of there. Maybe, maybe I should actually use a lower level Pokemon. Um, but at the moment, I kind of just kept my party open because I want to see what we can catch and see what's out here. But I may have to bring in another Pokemon solely just um, just to help capture some of these Pokemon. Because if they're only level 60 and my Togekiss there, it's going to cause a real problem. If this kid joins the dojo, nobody's going to pay attention to my strength. I could just tell him to buzz off. No. They asked me to bring in a new student. Student? Like... They know who I am, right? <clears throat> hey, that wasn't bad. I mean, it's not like I was going all out, not at all, but still. But you see, our dojo is the one that's got a long standing reputation. Even the famous champion Leon trained at our place. No offense, but maybe, just maybe you're not quite good enough to make it. Does she not know that I've beaten Leon? So how about this? Why not enjoy the sights, but just stay away from the master's dojo over there? But just stay away from the master's dojo over there. Here, I'll even give you this as a souvenir. A style card. You put the style card in your bag key item pocket. A card that increases selection of boutiques and hair salon. Let's go. So that means we can actually get some new garms now. That's perfect for me because I am I don't really dislike the clothes you get in this series. Um, so getting some new garms is perfect for me. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest. I am one of the people in this game. Hello Jigglypuff, how you doing? What else we got there? Scraggy. Um, I'm one of the people in this game that will explore everywhere, so this game may take a little, ooh, Abra, Abra. Come here. Come here, Abra. Let's catch our first Pokemon on the Isle of Armor. A wild Abra. Let's see, how much? How, how much stronger am I going to be than this Abra? Level 60. So I'm just going to hit it with Psychic Fairy. I'm just going to hit it with Ancient Power. I don't think it would actually kill it because it's actually Ancient Power isn't a great. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Let's go, man. I'm just, yeah. Abra used teleport. How many quick balls do I have? Where do you get the quick balls from? So what I might need to do is actually just use some quick balls. A revive. I don't know. I don't want to fish. I don't want to fish. I don't want to fish. Not just yet. Not just yet. Yeah, let me just pull the fishing rod out. Yeah, I know I reeled it in too far. So there's a lot of stuff. Do we know? We're just picking up big pearls. Um, we're just running around, running around. <laughs> Hello mate, how you doing? Just oh my lord, look at the size of that well lord over there. Have you seen Kingler? Big fan of Kingler. Um, let's see what's around here. I kind of just want to explore a little bit, uh, see what we can get from the tree. We'll give give it one or two shakes because I probably know all you're going to get out of it is a Greedian and uh, what else do we get out of it? A Greedian and. I can't think what the other thing is. Uh, come on, help me out, people. Leave it in the comment section below. What have I forgot? You usually get a grip. Oh, Rock Ruff. Rock Ruff, you look kind of cool down there, man. You look kind of cool. Let me whistle you. How you doing? <laughs> so we're going to try and capture this Rock Ruff here. Um, look how cute it looks, man. I, I am a huge sucker for the cute Pokemon. Um, so what I'm actually going to try and do here ball, drive ball. How many quick balls do I have? Do I only have one quick ball? Uh, um, I don't even have a quick ball. So what I'm just going to try and do is just chuck an ultra ball at it straight away. 
see what happens there. Um, I probably won't be able to catch this straight away. Or maybe I might. Come on, hit move it, hit move it. Rock Ruff was cool. That's my guy. So we're gonna add Rock Ruff to the team. Um, you will see him appear below me uh, right now. So just remember that Rock Ruff will appear. Joe, when you're re-watching this on the edit, make sure you add the Rock Ruff to the Pokemon selection. And let's not give Rock Ruff a nickname. I'm one of these people that do not like to give Pokemon nicknames. I really just like the original name. Um, I like to keep it as plain and simple as possible. I was also one of them people that, you know, when they played football games, uh, kind of, wow, yes, I want that, 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 I want that. Starmie, let's go. Right, come on. First time catch this. I really want this Starmie, actually. This is sick. Because I've got a lot of really cool ideas I want to do um, featuring this game now. Because now I've got all the overlays and everything made. I can make some videos that I really wanted to make. And I kind of... Excuse me. Do not do that. I'm going to hit... Uh, what can I hit it with that won't kill it? Fairy Wind. Fairy Wind won't kill it. Yeah, so what I've actually got is a lot of ideas to actually um, do series is on. Series is on. And this is one of the Pokemon I do actually need for that series. So uh, we're just going to go through it. Just going to, you know, kill it. Nah. But we are going to harden. Good. Good move. Good move. Look at that Pokemon, man. It's so cool. It brings back so many memories of like Gen 1, you know, just, just getting into Pokemon. So this is actually incredible. Um, let's hopefully catch it. It'll be nice to catch it on, you know, this turn. There we go. So we've only been in the Isle of Armour for a couple of minutes, a little bit of time, and we've already caught our second Pokemon. We've got a Rockruff, we've got a Starmie. Snips has grew to level 77, so this is gonna start to become a problem. Um, Starmie's, yeah, Water Psychic. Has it always been Water Psychic? No, no nickname to start me. No nickname to start me. Come on. Don't do stuff like that. So we're just going to have a quick explore around here. I kind of want to stick to the side of the ocean. And I tell you what, actually... Oh, a chancy. A chancy. I tell you what else I want to actually do while I'm here. Um, I actually want to... Uh, every episode, I would like to... I'd like to do a, a, a trade. So I'd like to do a trade, and I'm I'm gonna be a, I wanna say a little bit cheeky here. I'm just gonna trade up stuff that I don't really care about at the moment. Uh, I'm just gonna trade this Wooloo. So I'm just gonna select a Wooloo. I'm gonna send it out and uh, see if anyone picks it up. And we're gonna do this every episode and just see what we can pick up, because you never know. We might get something lucky, but whilst we're here, let's just have a little exploring time. Um, so there's obviously a huge raid here. Let's see what's in this. Oh, no, no, not just yet, mate, not just yet. I don't really fancy the links. Don't really fancy that just yet. Um, so as we're scrolling around up here, there was a little cave it looked like over here. So let's just take, let's just take a move and just scroll around. Um, another Jigglypuff, so a lot of Jigglypuffs here. A hell of a lot of Jigglypuffs, actually and a Pokeball. Are they, do these Pokeballs look bigger to you guys? A Sunstone, okay. Okay, that's cool. Jigglypuff, please, not yet. I will catch you in a minute. Uh, well, not in a minute, but in a little bit, okay? So there's nothing down there. Let's go up this cave and see what's up here. Courageous Cavern. Welcome to the Courageous Cavern. Where in this cave, you have to be courageous to come in. Oh, there is a huge raid battle here. So let's just see um, another raid. Uh, let's go up here. Hello, Clobopus. How you doing? Clobopus, great Pokemon. So how do you get there? So there's obviously another entrance. A little, a little sideways entrance is there. Glyzepede. Um, with an icy rock. An item can be held by a Pokemon. It extends the duration of the move. Hail when used by the holder. Nice. So we're finding a lot of stuff here. Rare candy. A Zubat. Not a Zubat. A, uh, I can't think. 
So wait, what way are we going to go here? Can we get over here? Um, right, let me just let me just let me just calm it down. Calm it down. I'm actually very excited to play this game, so you may find out that I struggle a little bit. There it is. Is that the one that I can see? Let's see what's in this. What do you reckon this is going to be? Oh! Don't invite others. Some trainers will join the battle. So this is a Buffalon. Is it a Buffalon? I do believe. Um, I could be completely wrong here, but it does look like a Buffalon. Uh, is it a Buffalon? No. Buffalon. There you go. I was close enough. So we are going to go into this raid battle against a Buffalon and see what we can do. Now, I don't know what level this is or, you know, how much of a... How much of a big man this Buffalon wants to be, but let's just try and see what we can do um, and see if we can catch it first time. So, we're going to go in for a max raid battle in our first episode, in our first playthrough. And are we going to win this episode? Um, I don't know. Are we going to win this battle? Togekiss is just such an awesome looking Pokemon. Uh, do you not have a Togekiss in your game? I'd be really upset if you don't because this Pokemon is so good. So strong at everything it does. Okay, we're definitely, we're definitely, we're definitely catching this Pokemon. We're definitely catching this critical hit as well. The Togekiss is a mean, mean, mean bit of equipment. Oh, that water tasted funny. Anyway, back to business. Back to business. Let's see what we can do here. So, is anyone actually going to do any any damage? No, Solar Rock's just going to. You know, look after itself. <laughs> then we get Maractus using Solar Beam. I doubt the Solar Beam is going to do anything. Probably tickle it if anything. Buffalon uses Max Strike. This could do some serious damage. Ah, not to me anyway, but to the rest of them. Oh, it only attacked me. I always thought that that done uh, damage to everyone. Chop throw. Wait, so you got two attacks? Counter by the Warp Effect. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I, I don't know if I actually have a Wobbuffet. Um, I haven't actually completed the Pokedex yet, so I will be completing the Pokedex as well while we're here. Um, well, not obviously today, but in future episodes, because I just I just want to play this game as much as possible. When I actually when this game first actually came out, I took so long to play through it because usually uh, when I get Pokemon. Uh, games I usually just spam them out for like three, four days and just do everything in them three to four days, minus completing the Pokedex. And I didn't want to do that on this because I actually wanted to sit and enjoy it and learn all the new Pokemon and some of the Pokemon I've missed from older generation. And I actually done that and I only finished this game roughly about maybe two to three months ago, just before lockdown started. So. You know, I've had a little bit of time to play it, but I haven't played it that much because I have actually been waiting for this DLC to come out. And there we go. We do actually kill the Buffalo. Well, not kill it, but, you know. Let's just hit it with the Ultra Ball. Where's the Ultra Ball from? Come on, man. Don't don't let me down. Please let me catch you, because you're such a cool-looking Pokemon. I was a big fan of Tauros back in the day. So, you know, you got an Afro. You're much cooler, right? Is he cooler than Tauros? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? And I will need your feedback on these episodes. So if you can give me feedback, that would be awesome. And just let me know about it. Because what I might actually do is use these as filler as well. So do three videos a week. And in between the three videos, put playthroughs. Um, so from that, we get a rare candy, XP candies, XP, XP candies, medium, rare bone, hyper voice, encore, metronome. Nice. I rate that. So we're almost up to our full party. We've got a Buffalon, Buffalon. These Pokemon can crush a car with no more than a head, but Buffalon with more hair on their heads hold higher positions within the herd. Nice, so the longer hair you've got, or the bigger your afro, the more in charge you are. I rate that, I rate that, I rate that a lot actually. So let's just, uh, Geloza P, Geloza. I always struggle with saying that, so I feel like I'm, Loop Lagoon. I feel like I've completely wandered off in a majorly wrong direction here. But seeing as we're here, uh, I'm just going to have a, a little look around. A heat rock. Nice. A twig from a species of tree called Galassia that grows in certain areas around the Galar region. It's a material for an accessory. 
for a certain Pokemon. Interesting. Sand cart, sandy gas, a lot of them around here. No, no, grab a lot. Oh my gosh, this area is huge, man. This area is actually ginormous. So what, what I'm actually gonna do here is, oh, dodge everything, duped. I'm, oh, a tentacle, tentacle. So what I'm actually gonna do, Pinjarin, is work my way back to where we came from, I do believe, as I just wanna kind of stick to the storyline a little bit, but also not too much. I kind of just wanna, you know, have fun and let this be my playthrough. I don't wanna have to rush through it. So at the moment, I am just browsing, browsing around. Um, what is that down there? So this, these islands are massive. This is really cool at the Dene. <laughs> A star me, a star you, let's go. So what is this place? I don't want to go in there yet. Um, I kind of just want to go around and see what this place is. Uh, do I want to go in there? I don't think I do, do I? But let's have a quick look around the back because I'm sure, what well, surprise, surprise, liquidation we found. TR98 liquidation is the user slams into the target using a full force blast of water this may also lower the target's defense stat nice mystic water okay so maybe um, let me have a quick check on the map let's have a quick check on the map see where we are because um, I actually have no idea so this is where we actually need to be so that's the master's dojo so I've kind of just gone away from there just gone you know what I'm gonna go where I want to go um, which is fine but now I need to get back on my bike. How have I not found a trade yet? Is no one wanting to do a trade? I mean, they're gonna get a stinker of a Pokemon, so I can kind of understand their reasoning behind that, but they don't know that yet. They don't know that yet. And I definitely didn't come from here, so we're not gonna go down the forest of focus just yet. We're gonna work our way back to the storyline, 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 Cameron, nice. Very cool Pokemon as well. Cameron, Cameron. There's a lot of Cameron. Wait, what's that? Is that a Melotic? No. Feebas. No, not even a Feebas, is it? Is it a Feebas? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, juking. <laughs> Mate, I was all over the place then. And we've already recorded 20 minutes of a episode. Well, like 22. This is crazy. This is gonna go pretty fast. Maybe I might have to make the episode slightly longer each time or shorter. Um, what we'll do is we'll try and keep it at 30 minutes an episode for now. Uh, but if you wanna see longer versions, then we can do longer versions because maybe I won't actually get too much done in 30 minutes. But we shall see, we shall see, right? Let's not, uh, let's not panic and let's not rush. Let's just go up here, I guess. Yeah, let's go up here. And see what we can see. So D, oh god, we know what that is. That's not a lowland diglet, isn't it? D, D, dig, 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 diglet, diglet. Oh, diglet, you're here. Diglet, you little rascal. I was worried about you. Dig, <laughs> little diglet. Thank you for finding my diglet. No problem, man. I didn't. I I said, is that someone from Alola? Oh, I didn't set someone to know about it. That's right, this is a diglet from the Alola region. When I traveled to Alola, I fell in love with these adorable free hairs. I caught a lot of diglet there and came back, but they went somewhere and when I looked away for a second. Diglet? Anyway, you found a diglet buried in the ground. You definitely have a talent for finding diglet. If it's okay, will you find all the other diglet too? Yeah, sure, why not, man? Sure, why not? What a kind person you are. Words can't express how grateful I am. You found one diglet so far, so please find 150 more. If you find them, please tell them to come back to me. I mean, I don't really speak Diglett, but we can. So there's a sign that says remaining Diglett to be found, Field of Honor, 18, 20 in the forest. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's so many to be found, man. That's a lot of Pokemon, uh, a lot of Diglets. So let's have a quick browse here. Um, there's a Diglett there, right? That's a Diglett there. Maybe what I'll do is I'll leave them for another video, maybe. Maybe I'll make a video of exactly all the Diglett locations. 
Is that something you would like to see? Um, so I'm just having a little browse around. Maybe we should get in the dojo and that's where we can like potentially end the first episode. Um, I really do want to catch this Kadabra though. Hello Kadabra. So I'm just going to chuck the quick ball, uh, the ultra ball straight away. See what we can do with it. Snips. I hate that name. So level 60 Abra. Level 60 Abra. Let's see if we can get it. Because if so, that'll be really cool. Starting off with a, a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon. So we started off with, well, I say a lot. Two. But Abra's really cool. And then what we'll try and do is um, trade it as well. Well, I won't trade it this episode because what I will do is trade it with other people um, that I actually know because I know what will happen. I'll trade this Abra and someone will then just keep it and they'll get, well, they won't just yet. But what I'll do, let me see if I can, let's see if we can evolve it right now. So Abra, um, let's give it, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing here, people? What am I doing? I'm letting myself down. So what we'll go and do is give it a... Do we have any? Rare candy? Is that a rare candy? What we'll do is we'll give this to Abra. And it should... It should evolve now, right? There we go. Yeah, yeah it's definitely going to evolve. So, episode one, we've come to the Isle of Armour. We've caught a Ufalet. We've caught a Rockra, we've caught a Starmie, we've caught an Abra, and we are actually evolving the Abra into the Kadabra now. Look at that. Abra evolved into Kadabra. Nice. Very cool Pokemon. Alakazam, a great Pokemon as well. Using its psychic powers, Kadabra levitates as it sleeps. It uses its springy towel as a pillow. I must admit, that is a big old towel. But the only problem is now is I need to swap this. So you have to trade this Pokemon to evolve it. But obviously I don't have anyone online at the moment to do that with. Um, and also what I will do in the future is I will record these episodes live on, um, live on a stream. So if anyone's in the stream, we can do some trades and stuff uh, whilst I'm streaming and whilst I'm recording. You can also be a part of the videos. But we have arrived at the dojo. Um, so let's just see what's going to happen. Two young ladies. Oh, fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks from League of Legends. So our new student decided to go back home. Seems that way. Yep. I did my best to welcome him, but he suddenly just left after our battle. And I'd be hoping we get to welcome a new member to our little family here too. What's her name? Well, hello. And who are you, love? Claire? Huh? Ah! Oh, them eyes are freaking of course, you must be the new student that's supposed to join, join the dojo today. Uh, sure. Yeah, I guess that's me. Right, right, right. Exactly, ma'am. I swear, he must have changed his mind about joining the dojo. Oh, but here you are. I'm so happy you decided to come after all. Oh, everything's just coming up roses. Now, I'm quite sure they already told me your name. But, it's Joe. I was going to call myself Creasy, but kind of thought it was a bit informal. Wanted to give him my name, Joe. Uh, though that's, I'm not the shame I was told before. Well, what name was you told before, honey? Honey? You can consider me the lady of the house. Ooh, the lady of the house, huh? Why, how, what does he think he's doing just showing up like that? She really don't like me, does she? This ain't good, Mrs. Honey will know that I lied. Seems you've already met our Clara. Bit of an odd ducklet, but she's one of our own. She is odd. But her full art in the Pokemon TCG is going to be so cool if she gets one. I can trust the two of you are going to get along, all right? Are we going to get along all right? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm sure we'll be best friends. Oh dear, but look at me. Here I am making you stand around outside after you've come all this way. Come in, come in. Don't mind the faint stench of sweat. Ugh. I mean, after all, it is a dojo, so I kind of understand. Listen you, if you dare tell Miss Honey about what happened at the station, I'll melt you down to size. You understand? I don't know why she all of a sudden turned into a man, but you understand? <gasps> there he is. What's his name? Uh, oh, let me think of his name. 
Oh, I can't think of his name right now. What is it? What is it? What is it? His name is... And that is the end of the timer. Now, do we go in and... Uh, do we go in and... Uh, finish the episode once we've spoke to everyone or do we finish it here that is the main question um, do you want to start next episode with me speaking to someone focus blast we've just found um, so let's just have a little check your the user heightens its mental focus and unleashes its power this may also lower it. nice okay so I think actually I'm gonna end it here it'll be a good place to end it the reason being I can then look back at the comments um, this will be going up as soon as it's edited so it will be tomorrow it will be on the Thursday you'll be watching this on the Thursday um, and then from there I'll read the comments see what your reactions are and we can see what happens from there so thank you all for tuning in hopefully you have enjoyed this if you want to get involved in the next episode make sure to go ahead and follow my twitch because I will be recording these live so I'll be able to trade with you we'll be able to do random stuff like that um, You'll be able to come over, watch them live. We can interact and talk. You know, it might be a bit better for the episode. But like I was saying, if you have liked this episode, please smash the thumbs up. We've got plenty more coming. If you're new around here, click the subscribe button. And also, if you like the content that much, you want to be the first to watch it, turn that notification bell on. And we'll see you later, people.